One of the all-time great missed opportunities in the history of the London Underground was the Northern Heights scheme. This was a project that would have seen the Northern Line take over a number of branch lines in North London. The section from Archway to High Barnet got done, and so too did the little stump that leads to Mill Hill East. But after the Second World War, the project fell apart. Still, that's not stopped people from trying to revive the idea. The section in question is a line from Finsbury Park to Alexandra Palace. The bit from Finsbury Park to Highgate opened in 1867 as part of the Edgware, Highgate and London Railway. The section from Highgate to Alexandra Palace was opened in 1873 by the Muswell Hill and Palace Railway. In the 1930s, London Transport proposed the Northern Heights scheme. Work began on converting the lines, but the Second World War brought things to a halt. Following the war, a combination of Greenbelt legislation and a shortage of money put the project on the back burner. In 1952, the conductor rails that had been laid before work stopped were removed and recycled at Upminster. And at that point, I think it's safe to say the writing was on the wall. The last passenger train ran on the 3rd of July 1954. In 1957, the Alexandra Palace branch was abandoned. Freight continued from Finsbury Park to Edgware until 1964, and the line was used for empty stock movement of tube trains from the Northern City Line until 1970. In 1971, the remaining track was lifted. It's now a nature reserve and footpath known as the Parkland Walk. The closure of the line was not without its opposition, and with good reason. The roads were, and still are, quite congested. Bus services were inadequate. An organisation known as the North London Passengers Protection Association Limited was formed in the 1950s. In my opinion, their 1956 proposal was quite a good one. In fact, it was quite similar to what we'd now call a community railway. The stations would be reduced to unstaffed halts. The trains would consist of former Great Western Railway diesel railcars, obtained via higher purchase from British Railways. Each railcar would have a conductor who would sell the tickets. The railway would reinvest its profits into improvements, and regular passengers would have the option of becoming shareholders. But nothing came of it. Another interesting concept was put forward in the late 1970s. The government were becoming interested in the concept of light rail, which seemed to them to offer the possibility of improving transport links for minimum cost. The Finsbury Park to Ali Pali route was considered to be an ideal testbed. It had much of the necessary infrastructure still in place, such as viaducts, tunnels, cuttings, and even a station at Crouch End. But in the end, they decided to press ahead with a different route in East London. You would know it as the Docklands Light Railway. Another proposal showed up in the mid-80s from the Department of Transport. In true Thatcher's Britain style, this would have been a road rather than a railway. In fact, a six-lane motorway. You can imagine how well that went down locally, i.e. not at all. And it was dropped. In 1989, a new organisation showed up. The Muswell Hill Metro Group. Since then, this group has campaigned for a light railway along the old trackbed. This would include a footpath alongside the line, so the Parkland Walk would not be totally lost. A 1999 parliamentary memorandum suggested that it might connect with some other transport projects. One was the East London Line extension, which at that time looked like it might go to Finsbury Park. This extension became part of the Overground project, and as we now know, that did not go to Finsbury Park. The other project was to extend the DLR to Moorgate, and then over the Northern City Line to Finsbury Park. And at this point, it could connect to the theoretical Muswell Hill Metro. I quite like this idea, if only for the frivolous reason that it brings things full circle to that late 70s light rail proposal. The problem is, and always has been, a lack of official support. The line runs through the borough of Haringey, who have been unwilling to conduct any studies or surveys into the line's prospects. Islington, the other borough most likely to be affected by the project, has been no more willing. Unfortunately, the ball is very much in the local authorities' court as to whether the line goes ahead. If I were to suggest a version of this, I'd go with something like the trams that currently run through Croydon. 
The trams replaced a number of underused section of railway in South London, as well as running along the streets through the centre of Croydon. I think a similar concept would work here. I'd run it along the track bed from Finsbury Park to Highgates, then, rather than disturb the Bat Sanctuary in the tunnel, I'd run it over the hill along Muswell Hill Road, rejoin the track bed on the other side of Highgate Village, run down to Alexandra Palace. But instead of terminating at the abandoned station, I'd run it down the hill to Wood Green, stopping along the way at the mainline Alexandra Palace station. This is a steep climb, but from 1905 there was a single-decker tram service running this exact route, so it is absolutely possible. Maybe as a secondary project, if demand were to merit it, consider a branch line down Highgate Hill to Archway and Highbury Corner. Again, this would be a rebuild of an old tram line. Of course, this is all a flight of fancy on my part. I don't know how practical it is, I'm just some guy on YouTube. All in all, it seems quite unlikely that there will ever be a revival of the line, despite many suggestions over the decades. But interest in the concept never really seems to go away. Good evening, I hope you enjoyed this light rail tale. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe for more. Click the bell icon to be notified of future videos, and let me know your thoughts. Should the line be revived, and if so, in what form? Tell me all about it in the comments section. I'd like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon for your support. You are the electric tram to my unforgiving gradient. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio!